Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, United States uh, decided to transfer Patriot air defense systems to Ukraine and they are just uh, working on the timing. So it's going to be today, tomorrow, the next day. So the decision has been made. Ukraine will receive Patriot air defense systems. Okay, now we have Peskov who was asked a question and he uh, stated that uh, those Patriot systems will be legitimate targets. Now you would wonder why in the hell do you need to say that? Isn't that, uh, you know, that doesn't that go without saying? I think so. I mean, anything that you bring in Ukraine would be a legitimate target. You know what I mean? Even, I don't want to say, but anyway. So why would uh, Peskov make this kind of statement? Well, I think because uh, sometimes when you um, when you don't have contact with another person but you want that person to get a message from you you make sure that you tell someone that you know has contact with that person and you just make as a matter of fact statement or you know say this or that and without saying hey tell uh, Gigi that uh, I'm gonna punch him in the face next time when I see him no we don't say that you, know, you say well you know yeah, what about Gigi? Yeah, I know Gigi, then, man, he gets on my nerves when I see him next time. I'm just gonna elbow him in his uh, beak. Okay, that guy, you know, he's gonna go and tell Gigi. So Gigi gets the message. So I think this is what Peskov did here. He just said, well, you know what? We know that those uh, systems will be operated by American personnel. Uh, don't tell me the Ukrainians. Uh, where just, uh, you know, use the funnel and got uh, the knowledge overnight blah, 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 in their brain. I don't believe that, okay? And I don't think that uh, Ukrainians were trained for about six or seven months ahead of time for the Patriot systems. I don't believe that. And I don't believe also, or let's put it this way, I'm skeptical, highly skeptical, that, uh, that the Americans will give the, in their mind, the backward uh, Ukrainians, corrupt Ukrainians, the weapons just to figure it out and have communication with whatever systems they have. I don't believe that a bit. I'm very highly skeptical. The same thing with the HIMARS. I mean, if the HIMARS, according to a retired uh, military colonel, U.S. military, I'm going to just mishmash it. Anyway, he's a co retired army U.S. colonel. Uh, McGregor, Douglas McGregor, he said, well, those HIMARSs are operated by contractors, not by Ukrainians by NATO contractors, by U.S. contractors. He said it takes too much time to uh, opera, to teach, the, to train the Ukrainians. But I would go further than that. I don't think it's about teaching. You give that in the hands of those guys, those guys will, could sell it. You know how much money they will get? They will get rich overnight, wealthy, not rich. And what's going to happen next? I mean, they have communication with uh, other... No, it's not going to be. And imagine Patriot? I don't think so. So anyway, I think this is the message Peskov sent to the Americans, hey, we're gonna kill your boys. That, that's the message, not, oh, we're gonna blow up your Patriot. Pfft, you've been doing this since what? Whenever uh, you were been destroying our weapons since we started sending them. So what's new? That's what's new. We know that you got them over there and we're gonna fuck them up. And you have to cover for it with your mass media over there, free mass media in the United States. You have to, I don't know what those coffins just come from Ukraine. Or other, for, I don't know, just, uh, I don't know, what movies are, movie are they shooting here again? Tom Cruise or something? Yeah, I think that's how it's going to be. But we find out, right? We have a lot of volunteers in Ukraine anyway. So this article comes from Reuters from December 14th, which is today, Wednesday. And uh, this is it. U.S. Patriot systems in Ukraine would be legitimate target. They, they should not make any news unless you got the extra. Hey, tell Gigi I'm going to punch him in or elbow him in the beak when I see him on the street next time. Okay, don't tell. No, as a matter of fact, we're going to do that. And the mass media, Trump, trumpets, trumpets, not Donald Trump trumpets, doo -doo -doo, you know, this. And the United States knows that these guys are going to do it. And the United States knew that before. So it didn't have to be, you know, through the mass media. But hey, sometimes you need the audience. Uh, you, you, you make change opinion. You manufacture opinion and all that. 
So the Kremlin said on Wednesday that US, Patri US Patriot, Patriot missile defense systems would be a legitimate target for Russian strikes against Ukraine, should the United States authorities author authorize them to be delivered to support Kiev. They were already. Anyway, so this was as a, as a, at 5.27 a.m. Now it's uh, five hours later. So uh, they were not kept up to date. But anyway, um, why was this necessary? They are legitimate targets. They knew that before they sent him. What do you think the United States now is going to say? Hey, no, no, you can't hit the Patriots. No, 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 you can't hit them. Do you think they're going to say? No, they know. They know. I mean, Washington is finalizing plans to send the Patriot missile defense systems to Ukraine, a decision that could be announced as soon as this week. And they're already finalizing it. Three US, US officials told Reuters on Tuesday. That's on Tuesday. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said Patriot Patriots would definitely be a target for Russia, but that he would not comment on unconfirmed media reports. Yeah, the Patriot is considered to be one of the most advanced US air defense systems, including against aircraft, cruise missiles and ballistic missiles. It typically includes launchers along with radar and other support vehicles. They said the, the news that I read today, this morning, said that they're planning already to send them. So it's like a decision is right there. I mean, I have no doubt that they will send it, okay? They're already there. It's just that someone needs to come and say, uh, we decided to defend uh, freedom and democracy, we're gonna send it to Ukraine. I don't wait for that. We already know it's gonna happen. They have already made the whole thing going. So the Pentagon says Russia's recent surge in missile strikes in Ukraine is partly designed to exhaust Kiev's supplies of air defenses so it can dominate the skies above the country. For this reason, the United States and its allies have been delivering more air defense systems for Kiev. It's not only that. They also want to know how their systems will uh, perform against Russia in a hot war. And that's also after that, after they they, whatever they do, they're good or bad, regardless, they're going to say they're the, the, the best, they're the best. So when they're going to say, well, Patriot perform 100%, fantastic. You know what? Buy one, get one free. That's what they're going to do. And then they're going to have these weasels, the handlers of Ukraine, and not only, telling the whole world how performant and fantastic they are. Get rid of the Russians' defense systems S-400 or 300, uh, not too many have S-400, but anyway, and buy ours because ours are the best. And there you have it. The military industrial complex gets the money, the banks pay that over there, and the freaking citizens like you and I want to pay for the, for the loans your country, our countries get in our name to pay for the Patriot Fantastic Defense Missiles. Like, uh, you know, if Russia wants to attack us, they're going to just uh, take it easy. Anyway. Do you think the United States are going to be attacked by Russia with uh, AK-47s advancing on the battlefield? Do you think so? <laughs> I think they're going to just send a few 7,000 uh, missiles and the uh, uh, United States will return the favor. All right, for the United States, this has included NASAMS, air defense systems that the Pentagon says have flawlessly intercepted Russian missiles in Ukraine. So if that flawlessly, then why do you send, send Patriot? Why don't you send some more? Because they want to try it and they want to advertise it, uh, advertise it. So you have weasels. Oh my God, we want them. Why don't you develop them? Oh, you're dumb or something? You can say that. Then buy it from Americans. Oh, they don't let you develop your own uh, defense systems? Something is not kosher here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway. Washington has so far provided Ukraine with $19.3 billion in military assistance since the start of the conflict. So 19, 20, 20, 20 billion dollars. If you add the European weasels uh, money and everybody else, let's get, we got about 25, right? 25 billion. You double that, you get to 50, obviously, and uh, Russia has 60. That's how much the defense, uh, invests or how do you call it uh, budget russia's budget is about 63 billion dollars used to be now they increase it 30 percent i know they increase it they increase they're going to have the from the total budget of the russian budget they will have 30 percent now to the military for the next year and now i think they have i don't know like six three or five percent well, it's still not going to get the oh, $850 billion of the U.S. They're going to have 63, 64. If you do more, they're going to have like, what, 80? 
80 billion versus 850, 10 times less. Anyway, well, we're gonna outspend them like Reagan outspended uh, Gorbachev and Soviet Union, and we're gonna win the Cold War. Wait, I got a present for you. Let me give you the Il Canone and uh, do the Paganini 24 Caprici, and let's go. Yeah, all right. So, send the Patriot, and some people will be blown up. Unless these Patriot systems are gonna be invincible and uh, invisible. Remember, like the High Mars. The High Mars, none of them was even touched by, I don't know, a little dust, piece of dust coming from Russia. Because they are invincible and invisible. And 100% accurate. Buy one, get one free. <laughs> Thank you. They should pay me. <laughs> the Pentagon. Hey, I will. We want to sponsor you. How about that? You do a good job. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth. Uh, and be just.